How's it going, YouTube? Today is March 18th, 2022, and the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC is finally out. The first wave, anyways. So today we're going to play Grand Prix for the new cups for the wave one of the DLC. And we're going to check out the new courses. I have actually not played it yet, so this will be my first time playing the new courses. So we have Golden Dash Cup and Lucky Cat Cup. These are the first two new cups for wave one of the DLC. So I guess we'll just do Golden Dash Cup one first. Let's go. It'd be kind of nice to see all these Mario Kart Tour tracks for me personally, because I've never, I haven't played much of Tour. Golden Dash Cup. Paris. That's cool. All right. First race. Off to a great start, everybody. <laughs> let's go. Yeah, so let's see how these tracks are. It looks really nice. I know there were a lot of complaints about like when they first showed the DLC. It's like, eh, just port from the mobile game. Actually, like playing it now and seeing it in person. Actually, it does look very, very nice. They did a good job. The DLC it looks significantly better. <laughs> The Mario Kart Tour. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's a big plan. First place, let's go. Oh, you want to go this way? So it looks like there's an alternate path there. There must be a shortcut somewhere. Oh, Donkey Kong. Man, this is really cool. It's really nice to finally see new co new content for this game. There's new con new Mario Kart content in general. I missed time that, but that's it. Or something. It's still kind of a bummer that this is not Mario Kart 9, but... You know, that it's the next best thing. To be able to play some new Mario Kart content on a console. Because I know a lot of people are not a fan of Mario Kart Tour. And I play Mario Kart Tour, and I think it's fine. For what it is, it's fine. We I got some glider here. Cool. Oh, I just know it's like the... The lap's like kind of loop-de-loop. Now we're kind of going backwards. Huh, that's, that's pretty cool. I, I like that, that's cool. So maybe that's what that alternate path was. Yeah, no, that, that's that's really cool, I don't mind. That's pretty cool. I did that on purpose, I swear. So I won't get blasted. <laughs> Everybody knows I'm a Mario Kart master. <laughs> This way, I guess. Okay, that was pretty cool. It's not flashy or nothing, but it looks nice, and I kind of like the the last lap you go kind of backwards on the track. That's cool. I'm a fan of that. All right, next race, let's go. That's cool. All the retro tracks I will recognize. So I've definitely played all these, like Toad Circuit 3DS. I have not played Mario Kart 7 in, it has been a long time since I played Mario Kart 7. Oh. Ouch. All right. 
Let's go. Whee! This is fun. Fingers crossed. Uh, hopefully in the DLC packs, uh, Waluigi Pinball would be awesome. I know a lot of people are looking forward to hopefully getting that course. And uh, Maple Tree Way for a Mario Kart Wii would be another good one. Like, there's so many good Mario Kart tracks you can pick from. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Okay, that's good to know. You don't get stuck up. A double item, let's go! Alright. Back coins. Let's go! First place, Donkey Kong. All right. Well, that track, it's not too bad. Not Nothing too special or nothing. That was a good first, if I remember right, that was the first track in the, um, oh, Choco Mount. Whoa, that's cool. Like I said, this is my first time playing these tracks. I have not watched like video footage like any other people playing this. I've just seen like the trailers and that's it. Now this is a classic from Mario Kart 64. So this is different. So this is new compared to 64. So now we go like in a cave here. This is pretty sick. It changes the course a lot. Oh, and there's like a jump here now. Oh, that's cool. Like comparing it to the original 64. I got the rocks, which is cool. No fence here. No fence there though. Man, this looks very nice. That's cool. That's awesome. I'm a, I'm a big fan of the new remixes for these songs. I know I've said this on previous videos and streams before on the channel. I think Mario Kart 8, just in general, is probably one of Nintendo's best soundtracks they have ever made. Please get across the gap at least. Well, unfortunate. <laughs> at least it gives you a little indicator where the boulders are gonna land with the cracks in the red. I don't think of like any other 64 track. I think the only other Mario Kart 64 track I really want is Wario Stadium. I think that's about it. I think all like the best tracks are already in the game. But there could be something I'm forgetting, but yeah, Wario Stadium for 64 would be awesome. Man, this looks really cool. Mario Kart 64. Pro I think Mario Kart 64 was my second Nintendo 64 game I ever owned when I was a kid. This is really cool. I did a really good job of converting. It's just, it's kind of cool seeing like tracks from like Mario Kart 64, like looking at that game. And then you watch, or you look at Mario Kart 8. It's all nice and HD and everything. And they remade everything. I'm a big fan of that. Cool track. Classic. I think the last time we seen that track was, I think it was a Mario Kart DS. I remember right i could be wrong that sounds about right all right here we go last track everyone's favorite track of all time coconut ball the classic the meme i guess too <laughs> Of course they had to bring Coconut Mall, like in the very first wave of the DLC, Coconut Mall Hall had to be here, right? <laughs> I 
looks kind of funny. Man, this looks so nice. It looks so good. They did a great job of putting these in this game. Like, sure, they could possibly be, like, quote-unquote ported from Mario Kart 2. But even if they are taken from 2 or into this game, they, they still did a very good job. And it still looks really nice. I can look at this at, at 10 e 60 Looks very, very nice. So I know that's new, is those cards don't go back and forth. Also, I did see one spoiler on Twitter. It's like the me characters are not on the stage anymore. Which I know some people are bummed out about it. Classic. Yeah, I think for Mario Kart Wii, probably just Maple Tree Away. That's like the only other Mario Kart Wii track that people loved. One back. There might be more. I, it's been a long time since I played Mario Kart Wii. I just know off the top of my head, the Maple. That, that's what it's called, right? I think people know what I'm talking about, the Maple one. Yay. Uh oh. <laughs> of course, I want to get rid of my banana. Red Shell comes and hits me. Let's go. We first place. Let's go. Blue part. It's cool to see the Hinatas. I always pronounce it incorrectly, but from the Islanders from Mario Sunshine. So let's go, first place. Destroying the competition. Let's go. Heck yeah. All right, let's go, GG's. That was the first cup. Really cool. I guess the, I'll say, okay, so first impressions after doing the, the cups is like, the tracks are like super fancy or nothing, but they're still fun to play. But then, then, like, playing these tracks online will be fun. I think out of the, the first cup, I think the Paris one actually might be my favorite one. Maybe because it's newer to me because I haven't played Mario Kart 2 or a whole lot. But still all good tracks. All four of them are great. Got three stars, too. Let's go. All right, well, that was the first cup. Let's check out the other one now. As soon as the game loads. All right. Let's go. Let's do 100cc again. All right, so we did the Golden Dash Cup. Now it's time to do the other one, the Lucky Cat Cup. Go to Tokyo Blur, Shroom Ridge, a Sky Garden, and then Ninja Hideaway. So we got two tours, one DS, and one GBA. Yeah, the Paris one was cool. So hopefully these other tour tracks will be cool. I'm assuming they will. Tokyo Blur. So this one, I think I might have actually played on Mario Kart Tour. Because like I said, I, I've played Tour. And some, some of the like brand new tracks they made for that game, I have played. I'm pretty sure I played this one. Oh. Yeah. Damn. Coming for you, Wario. I don't, I don't know if the, like, the YouTube video does it justice, because you know video compression, but it looks really, really nice. Seeing this stuff like in person, playing it, and seeing the 1080 60. Like YouTube or like Twitch stream, like video compression does not do it justice. Just like how nice this game looks on Nintendo Switch. Okay, so now we're going like alternate paths, so that's pretty cool. Check my butt. Ouch. This will be a shortcut. Uh, unfortunately, I am a little tiny man right now. Little tiny donkey. 
Ding, ding. All right. This track seems pretty short. Already on third lap. And I'll see what other alternate path it is. So. We'll be driving. I like I like that in Paris when you're driving kind of backwards on the last lap. I really like that. That's it. Okay, that was a short track. I will say that this one was definitely not as good as Paris. I'll probably keep comparing like all the tour tracks together because those are the ones that are, that are gonna be completely brand new. But I, I did like the pair. That one wasn't too bad. It was okay. All right. Yeah, Paris was cool. All right, Shroom Ridge from Nintendo DS. Oh, there's a shortcut right there. But yeah, for DS, maybe like the Donkey Kong stage, DK Summit, right? And then Waluigi. Those are probably like the top two. There's also the, the airship one. There's a lot of great tracks in Mario Kart DS. Lots of fun drifts. Yeah, th this is a good track. This is kind of fun seeing us cartoony characters and then we're driving by like that realistic car. <laughs> realistic in quotation. <laughs> yeah, th this this is a good track. Lots of fun like drifts. Like if you're trying to practice and getting better at uh, doing drifting and stuff, this seems like a good track. Especially if you play this on like 100cc or 200cc. There's lot, lots of turns. Lots. Yoshi. All the Yoshi's in all the toads. Ooh. Oh, oh. Go too fast. Oh, no. If I have a mushroom on the last lap, I'll try to save it. You can definitely tell that's a shortcut. So definitely one one thing people notice about with the DLC is there's no anti-gravity stuff. At least in the first wave. Maybe the other DLCs will have some anti-gravity stuff, which would be awesome. I guess so far, like all the tracks we've played, it's kind of hard to kind of pinpoint. It's like, okay, with these remakes, where were they put the gravity stuff at? Yeah, since we're just so far ahead, let's try the shortcut. We're just going to drive like this. Okay, so that doesn't work. Okay, good enough. So it definitely seems like you'll need like a star or a, uh, a mushroom to get over that shortcut. Finish! Let's go! Fun track. Like I said, that's a good track to practice, like, drifting if you're new to the game. Alright, so next is what? G Sky Garden, right? I remember liking this on the original Game Boy Advance game. My favorite part about these track remakes is seeing the old 2D tracks. Like the, the Game Boy Advance game being like a 2D game and then seeing it in like full 3D. That's, that's cool. Like I really like the look of this already. Okay. 
Oh, okay. There, okay. I think definitely out of all the DLC tracks, this is like the coolest looking one to me, anyways. This looks really cool. So, like, here they could maybe could have done like anti gravity. They wanted to. Not a short track. <laughs> so, definitely one thing I've noticed so far with all these DLC tracks. They're all probably kind of short tracks. They feel short to me anyways. But I bet when you're playing like these tracks online, because they're kind of shorter tracks, it'll be a lot more chaotic since we are just playing the Grand Prix. So playing this, yeah, definitely online. Will be just chaos, especially playing like a track like this on 200cc <laughs> would be just chaos. Which is kind of what you want when you're playing Mario Kart, right? And this look, it, does, it looks so nice. Big fan, big fan. <laughs> it's still kind of bizarre just playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, or just playing Mario Kart 8 in general and playing new tracks. Because Mario Kart 8 came out, what? 2013 on the Wii U? Right, 2013, 2014? So, then we had the the DLC on the Wii U version, and then finally we're getting DLC now on the Switch version. Yeah, these tracks are short, so yeah, playing these online is gonna be chaotic. It's gonna be one of those a lot of these DLC tracks so far because they're kind of shorter on the shorter end. It seems like if you mess up once, you might just be kind of just SOL, I guess, trying to catch up. It'll be tough to catch up. All right, here we go. The last track of the DLC. This was another Mario Kart Tour track. This looks cool. I think out of all of the Mario Kart Tour tracks, this one is awesome looking. This one looks cool visually okay maybe the best looking dlc track might go to this one already the sky garden and this one this one looks awesome this looks cool oh, this way i guess that's supposed to be garlic i kind of want to test what happens if you touch these things? okay we're gonna touch this okay so it, it does count as a hit okay that's good Oh, what the? I wasn't ready for the Shy Guys. Okay, so you can hit that. That's kind of a nice thing about doing these Grand Prix. It's just kind of kind of figuring out, okay, what are the obstacles and what are not. Yeah. This is, I think out of the Mario Kart Tour tracks, this is definitely by far the best one. It looks really cool. The track seems fun to play at. Yeah, this one for sure. This <laughs> out of the first wave D DLC, this one actually might be the best track. This, this is a really cool track. This one's cool. Very strong first impression. And just out of out of the tour tracks, anyways, it's, it's more interesting. Oh, so those bananas become the Shy Guy Ninjas. That's cool. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, th this is definitely... I think this track here might be the best at the first wave of the DLC. This, this is a good track. And there's some alternate paths. Yeah, this is a good track. This one's good. This one's great. Yeah, this one's sick. Definitely out of all the, the tour tracks so far in the game, this one's by far the best tour one, for sure. And like, out of the new DLC, yeah, said, this one might be the best one. Th this is a fun track. This one's cool. What do they do? Do they throw... Do they throw anything at you? 
Like if they throw like shuriken or something. Oh, I just know it's like Wario. So it is like Wario's like Japanese castle. I just know it's the, the mustache up top. Yeah, this track is awesome. This is cool. I wonder what way is faster. Maybe up there? Yeah, this track. Very good first impression playing this track. Very good first impression. Let's go. GG's. Good games. That was the last track of the first wave of the DLC. Mario Kart. Well, let's check the results screen real quick and then we'll wrap this video up. YouTube exclusive video. Plays. Let's go, GG's. Awesome. All right, GG's. So let's take a, let's go back to the Grand Prix screen and we'll do like a quick review of the new tracks. So we'll just kind of go in. So definitely fun tracks. Nothing really too crazy with the tracks, but they're still fun. I think I've, for, in my opinion, out of all the new tracks here in the first wave of the DLC, I think Tokyo Blur is, the is, I don't want to say the worst track. It's just my least favorite. It's not really nothing special. So at least the Paris one, at first it, it seems kind of simple, but then I kind of like the final lap where you're kind of going in reverse and you're going against the other players. That was fun. Toad Circuit is kind of simple. Like Shroom Ridge is kind of, oops, reminded me of a, a more complex Toad Circuit. Like Toad, Toad Circuit's okay. Choco Mound, I like what they did with the remake compared to like the original 64 track. That was fun. Coconut Mall, like to me, Coconut Mall is kind of, it's kind of whatever. I'm not the biggest Coconut Mall fan, but the song is definitely, was great. Yeah, Coconut Mall seemed fine. Like Tokyo Blur, definitely the most disappointing track for me. Shroom Ridge is a fun track. Sky Garden, really short. And then Ninja Hideaway, for sure, is definitely the highlight, for sure. And and also Ninja Hideaway is, uh, it is a tour track. It just, it's missing the tour lo logo. That might be a, uh, I think it's from tour, or is it a new track? But it's a new track that actually I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's from Mario Kart Tour, though. I think. <laughs> if somebody knows, let me know in the comments below, but I'm pretty sure it is from Tour. But, but definitely Ninja Hideaway is the best track for sure out of all the new, the first wave of the DLC. So hopefully here soon we'll get all these other ones. Kind of nice you can see the cups already. Yeah, Ninja Hideaway, best one, worst one, Tokyo Blur. But it, it's fine. But, yeah, I think that's gonna do it here. I think my, maybe my number two, I did like the Choco Mountain, what they did with the remake. And Sky Garden was a, like you see, it's a good remake, but it's a very short track. So. All right, I think we're gonna call there when we keep rambling. Ninja Hideaway, best track of the new DLC. Wave one of the DLC. Tokyo Blur, thumbs down for me. It's okay. And it's kind of funny, it's it's in the Lucky Cat Cup. So you got the best track of the DLC at the end and they got the worst one at the beginning, so. All right, so there's my kind of quick review and just like a video end of the video just kind of showing off the wave one of the dlc we don't know when the other dlcs are out yet i guess because it's supposed to go until the end of 2023 till the end of next year so maybe like every three months so maybe mid late summer for the next wave for these two i'm assuming turn up cup and propeller cup yeah because this is yeah so my guess is these two should be next turn up and propeller so, all right, well, I think that's gonna do it for the video. Yep, we're just doing the Grand Prix of the new cups just to show them off, my first impressions. Ninja Hideaway, it was a really cool track. That one's awesome. Definitely the best one for sure. Yeah, I think that's gonna do it there. So thanks for watching everybody, watching this YouTube exclusive video. But if you're new to the channel, if you'd like on YouTube, you can leave a like, comment and subscribe. And on Twitch, I do stream a lot of my videos on Twitch, but this one was only on YouTube. But if you'd like, you can also follow the Twitch channel where I play a bunch of different video games live, like Mario Kart and a bunch of other stuff. 
live on my Twitch. Usually it's what I do. And on both of them, you can turn on notifications. So, you know, when I go live on Twitch or new videos are out on YouTube. Yeah. Awesome. Well, that's going to do it for me. Thanks for watching, everybody. And have a great day. Take it easy. And I will catch you next time. Have a good one, everybody.